is Alex Potts. I'm the operations and project manager at Philips Hybrid. And today I'm going to walk you through the integrated components of our Philips Additive Hybrid system to give you a better understanding of the integration process and utility requirements for a hybrid machine. We'll be looking at our FOSS BF2, which is a common machine model for many manufacturing facilities. Integrating the melting equipment introduces additive manufacturing capabilities for subtractive processes, which brings a lot of value. And the bonus is that it's all in one machine. Both new Haas machines and existing Haas machines are eligible for a hybrid retrofit or integration. And it'll depend on the machine model in year. But typically we can integrate machines up to 10 years or sometimes older. If you're interested in retrofitting an existing machine, reach out to the Philips team and we'll let you know how to do this. There are three main components of a hybrid integration. The Meltio engine, the deployment mechanism and deployment head, and the chiller. The Meltio engine and the Haas controller communicate through both control relays. The Haas machine needs at least four unused relays, and so we require the Haas machine to include the 8M option, which provides eight unused relays for the integration. The Meltio electrical setup is independent from the Haas electrical setup, so you'll need two separate power connections for each. The preferred configuration for the Meltio engine is a three phase 200 240 volt setup using a 30 amp breaker and plug. Compare that to a single phase setup where you use a 50 amp breaker and plug. The three phase connection allows for smaller gauge wire to be used and a more economical twist plug to be used. So that is our preference. There's no difference in performance of the system whether you choose one phase or three phase. The chiller is powered directly off of the melting engine. So there's no need for any additional power requirements. The chiller uses distilled water as well as ethylene glycol to help prevent freezing. We recommend keeping five gallons of water on site for chiller water replacement, though Philips will bring both the water and the ethylene glycol initially during integration for you. To speak to gas requirements, the Meltio system requires the use of an inert gas during the printing process. In our case, we use a 12 pack of argon. The deployment mechanism for the deposition head is mounted to the casting of the spindle housing of the Haas machine. You can see the deposition head currently extracted from the housing, but during any machining processes, the deposition head will retract back into the housing to protect it from any damage due to machining or cooling. You'll also notice at the top of the deposition head housing, there are three conduits entering. These are for the laser fibers, the guides for wire feeding, coolant lines, and electrical cables for relay communication. In addition to integrating the melting equipment, we also add a few safety features to the Haas machine. As you'll notice, the glass here is blue, not clear. This is because we add an outer layer of laser-safe glass to protect the users from exposure to the laser during printing. On the inside, we still retain the original Haas factory glass, so you have that protection for any machining uh, issues. But on the outside, you'll still have laser glass to protect you from the laser during printing. Swinging around to the side of the Haas machine, You'll notice that we've added door interlocks to the side windows. We've wired these interlocks such that if the window were to be opened or the front doors were to be opened during printing, the lasers in the deposition head would cut off immediately, so there's no risk to the user running the machine. You'll also notice the metal stand next to you. This is an external wire feeder stand that we designed specifically for dual wire applications, but could also be used for a single wire system. The benefit is you can mount two different wire spools to the system as well as the option for a 300 pound drum if you wanted to do long single material runs. And you have a shorter wire feeding run from the top of the wire feeder stand to the deposition head versus where it's typically housed inside of the melting engine. So this again can assist with wire feeding and allow for a smoother printing process. Once again, I'm Alex Potts of Philips Hybrid. Thank you for your time. If you found this video helpful, please like and share. And for more information, please visit philipscorp.com slash hybrid. Thank you.